thank you so much for joining in. Uh, today we're going to talk about how Windows Defender ATP integrates with Office 365 ATP and put, and helps you protect an end-to-end -end, uh, threat protection scenario for your organization. Now, before you can start uh, in sharing intelligence between Defender ATP and Office ATP, you need to first integrate them together. So here I am on my Windows Defender ATP console. I basically have to go to my settings tab and advanced feature and uh, you have to go here and enable office 365 threat intelligence connections when it is once it is on uh, it basically asks you for your global administrator credentials of office atp as well and once you're done you know you it, uh, basically start sharing signals with each other so let me show you one scenario where uh, one of the one of the threat which started from an email uh, based intrusion uh, was captured by defender atp and how uh, you know what really happened when different ATP shared this threat intelligence with Office 365 ATP. So you can see here I have uh, a lot of alerts coming in uh, from my endpoint devices. I've got one of these devices here of called Jonathan AW, and I can see here that there's one high severity alert. Let us go ahead and investigate this. So if I go to the machine view, uh, I get to see a lot of uh, alerts coming out from this particular device. And this is my high severity alert. And it is showing a process privilege escalation happened due to a kernel exploitation. So which means that there was a major exploitation that happened within the kernel, you know, using an application. And this application basically got access you know, to an admin level privilege from a user level privilege, which means that whatever code that this particular application now executes will execute as an administrator on that difficult device. So let us see what exactly happened here. Let's click on this alert. And once this page loads, it basically shows how this particular attack was carried out. So this is my process tree. And this process tree is basically showing that my uh, Outlook.exe, which is my Outlook email client, has launched a doc file, which uh, really means that it was basically an attachment with this particular name. And this attach since this attachment is a doc file, it also launched winword.exe as an application. And you can see what really happened here. The winword.exe access token was modified from system from from user to a system level account because some exploitation happened in the kernel now uh, i can click here uh, and open this word document uh, link and it basically shows various uh, attributes of this document like the hashes so i have sha1 hash sha256 md5 hash and of course i also get to see that this is this uh, this particular file is not just there on one machine but there could be other machine in my environment which may also have this particular file present so so this particular uh, section will provide me that information. Now, since I'm also an Office 365 ATP customer, it's also telling me that there are other three mailboxes which also has the same file. Now, the user may or may not have opened them yet, so I still have an option to block it and take corrective action before other users also gets compromised. So there's a link out here. I can directly click on this link, and it take, automatically takes me to an Office 365 ATP page. And let's see what exactly shows up here. So once the page loads, it basically shows me that this particular attachment is also present in other uh, environments as well or other mailbox as well. So you can see here that it's showing me that, you know, beside Jonathan, there were other two email accounts or email mailboxes where uh, they also got the same email with the same subject line and from the same sender, the IP address was same. However, something really interesting here, uh, there was one received and two were blocked. And if you look at the timeline here, you can see here that, that the first delivery came at 9.31 in the morning. Uh, when the when the first user ex ran this particular file, of course, a bad thing happened because the uh, you know there was uh, elevation of privilege happened on that particular device. Defender ATP detected that as malicious, and it automatically updated the signal to def to Office 365 ATP. Now, that when the next delivery of the same email came after 10 minutes. At 941 and 952, those emails were automatically got blocked. So you can see here how Windows Defender ATP and Office 365 ATP share intelligence together uh, and helps you protect uh, yourself against some of the main you know, malicious campaigns that is coming to your organizations from through email channels. So I hope uh, you, you like the video. If you like it, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'll post more videos like these. Uh, and of course, we'll learn more about information security. Thank you so much for joining in.